What's up, guys? It's your friendly neighborhood, Raymond, here. If you don't know who I am, I am currently top 8% on LeetCode, and I'm here to teach you how to do LeetCode problems. So let's get into it. Grumpy Bookstore Owner. This is the LeetCode Daily of yesterday. And this is a really good problem for beginners, actually. This has a lot of concepts that beginners can do. It is not too hard of a problem. And we're going to go over this making like three observations. So before that, I'm not going to read bother reading all this. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to explain the problem to you if you don't know what it is because yeah, that thing is like really wordy and I don't want to get into that really. I don't want to write you guys an awful. So essentially we're having like some numbers, right? And it's framed in the, the sense of like a bookstore. Um, but I don't, again, I'm not, I don't, I'm not too interested in the bookstore framing, but we have these numbers and you know, because I have like one, zero, one, two, like, I don't know, a hundred. And we have numbers that we can keep or like not keep. So it's like one means that we get to keep it. Zero means that we do not get to keep it. So we can like say, oh, keep, don't keep, keep. Uh, or we can say like, you know, don't keep, don't keep, whatever. Whatever, whatever. And we get one extension to where we can flip one of these into like something that we can keep. And we wanna grab like the biggest number possible essentially, right? This is, and this is like observation one of this problem because it's a story problem and they're kind of like, obfuscating a lot of stuff here or it's a lot hidden it's very hidden right you have a bookstore owner every minute there's customers pouring in and you're given some binary array and customers can be grumpy or not but like really the whole thing is that we just have like some numbers here right and i'm sure you if you look in this tutorial you probably read the question but we have some numbers here and what we want to do is grab like the biggest combo of numbers after we switch after we switch m m consecutive like numbers so we get like a, we can cons like so we could be uh this one you know we could do this one this one right like this one like we can we can flip like so we could do this one we could do this one and this one right and the question is okay well how do we know that we that 102 is actually the best answer here right because you know there's there's so many different combinations that we can flip all right so this gives us the option op observation number two is that we want consecutive numbers right if this thing was all zeros actually right let's say it's just all zeros like just across the board we're gonna know which one to choose right because we have like all these options um like like do we we can only flip one and let's say like m is two so we can only take two groups of consecutive numbers so do should we take this one should we take this one should we take this one right how do we know now the cool thing here is you know you're probably seeing the brute force solution is that we could just try every combination and then see like what's the best group of two that's like the highest and we just try every single one but this is around o of i think it's o of n times uh, n minus m like multiplied right which is like n squared about approximately which is too slow for this problem but if you did your neat code if you looked at your if you looked at your you did your leak code list you did your blind 75 you might actually realize there's a pattern here uh, one is that we have a problem where we have these numbers and we really want the consecutive ones but we just don't know how we can do this faster and the solution leads us to observation three, right? When you realize this, you can get this next hint, which is we want, we want a rolling window, a sliding window, sliding window, rolling, rolling a sum, whatever you want to call it, right? We want to take these numbers and then we can just, we don't need to recalculate every single time. Like why would, like if we do one plus zero, right? That's one. Cool. All right. Well, what's this one? Right. Oh, well, it's just whatever this other one, like kick out the one, kick out the one. Okay. Yeah, sure. It's zero, but like now we just add the one back right from here. And then same thing here, right? Kick out the zero. Now we've got two and now like this is three. Right. And so we can do the sliding window where we just take every single one and just kick it, kick it, kick it. This works for if you know, there, if we have like a thing of three, we have a thing of four, we just could generate this initial sum and we just leave kick out and then bring in the new one and then check, is this the biggest one that we've seen so far? right so once we do that once we say like oh, okay this is the biggest that we've seen so far right like we've got like oh, okay well this is 102 right so let's say it's 102 is our biggest well now that's perfect we did that in o of n just using sliding window and then like the sum like the the rolling sum right well now what we can do is we can say okay well this is 102 now i know that's the one that's the best one for all these these negatives Okay, but like, what's the best one in like, what's this total score gonna be, right? The the question is the question is asking the maximum number of customers that can be satisfied. So what we have to do is add all the numbers that like we would have had. Um, if the ones. So, anyways, um, it, I'm gonna go into the actual solution that I did, 
which is I use this this sliding window. But before I did that, I split these up into two things, right? I had an only zeros one and an only ones one. So that then what I can do is I can say, okay, well, let's just grab all the ones that we, you know, we know we're going to use. We, we know 100% all these customers are going to be satisfied. And then uh, let's not include like the negatives. Like let's not include like these, you know, the toggled zeros. So this one, this one, this one, this one. And then instead let's find the best one, which is one in five here in our, you know, our sliding window of three. We're going to get one in five is the best. And then we just subtract or we add the sum of all the non-toggled ones with the best one that was like from like the toggled, you know, the zeroed ones. And um, that's the solution. So I'm going to go into the code right now. So what this looks like is right. So I have like this differences one, this is like the positive ones. And then these are like the negative ones. And what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, loop through both of them, right? If, if the, you know, if it's like zero, that means that we, don't really want it right so we set it like you know into the ones like we're separating them essentially separating the sums of each one for um here now we're going to go into just a normal sliding window off these negatives to find like that best fit right so i have like a little template that i have and you know if you guys want to use it um you know, feel free to but you know you're going to essentially initialize like your left pointer for the window the left side of the window and then you're going to have some kind of container in this case of the sliding window, like our container our you know, for the window and then initialize, right? Just initialize like the, the, the left and answer, right? We're gonna have some container for the window. And then over here, we're, you know, we're going to have our total answer or whatever. But that this isn't like, you know, you could have a troll answer, but we have our container initialized and everything like that. Now we're just going to loop through every right, um, every right, like we're going to expand the right side of our window. And then here we're, the, we're initializing the container of the window to the first, like an, the initial negative numbers, right? All the way up for minutes. Then we're going to go through, uh, remove it, remove the left one, increment the left, and then add our sum to whatever the right one most one is, right? And then we just check whatever the best one is. And then our final answer is going to be the sum of all of like the good ones. Sum of all the good ones plus like the, the negative ones, right? Like the best negative one. And this is the solution. Um, again, for the following the template, you can do something like, you know, right? So like we're going to be remove from window, remove from window, and then add, add to window and then compare with best answer. And you're going to see this a lot with these consecutive problems, right? This sliding window thing, I mentioned this is a good beginner problem because this is a very common pattern. And it's a very good thing to know that you can do these. So anyways, uh, we're going to call it here. And thanks for watching.